years ago there was a comedian who was part of his routine was talking about family life and the challenges and also the frustrations and as part of his routine he claimed that he knew how to determine if a little little child was brain damaged or not and he said you just offer this one command and see how she or he does. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here. Would you come here? No. And off, off you are chasing your son or your daughter. It's been said that the two most important words or commands that Jesus gave are these. Come and go. And just as examples, listen to these quick eight examples of Jesus saying, Come, come to me all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Let the children come to me. In a story in which two disciples who followed John the Baptist saw Jesus walking away, they wanted to know where he was going, and Jesus said, Come, and you will see. He told the rich young man who wanted perfection, to reach perfection, to sell all his possessions, give to the poor, and then come, follow me. One time after the apostles were returning from a preaching circuit, he says, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. Also in the story where this ghost was walking on the water, and they heard the ghost say, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And one of them said, oh, it's the Lord. And Peter says, if it really is you, tell me to come out on the water. And the ghost, Jesus says, Come. In raising Lazarus from the dead, Jesus said, Lazarus, come out. And on Judgment Day, he said, The sheep, the good people, will hear him say, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Come. The other word, go. And quickly, eight examples. After healing a possessed man, Jesus says, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. And when healing many people, like a woman with hemorrhages for 12 years, he would say, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. When he rescued the woman caught in adultery, he did not condemn her, but rather said, Go from now on. Do not sin anymore. And when sending his apostles on a preaching circuit, he said, Go first to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when he sent out the 72 to preach, he said, Go on your way, because behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. And the famous parable of the Good Samaritan, he used as an example of how we are to love our neighbor like the Good Samaritan. And he finished by saying, Go and do likewise. After the resurrection, he met Mary Magdalene and said, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And then finally, his last command before he ascended into heaven, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you, and know that I am with you until the end of the ages. In today's Gospel, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. It's important that we would hear the voice of the Good Shepherd telling us during, throughout our lives, Come and go. In addition to this being Good Shepherd Sunday, it's also Vocation Sunday. We all have a calling. In fact, the first calling we all have is the same. That's the call to holiness, which sounds scary, but what it means is we are all called to love one another. But then, we have particular vocations because some of us are called to love through marriage. 
and family life. Some of us as priests, as deacons, consecrated life, some to remain in the lay state as single, but we are all called to love. And we have to be careful, because most of us, when we're in our vocations, we're pretty good about the command to go. And the problem is, too often, we're on the go, on the go, on the go, so busy, that we really don't always hear the voice of the Good Shepherd say the other word, come. And when Jesus is giving us that simple command, come here. Come here. Come here. You don't want Jesus having to track us down. This doesn't mean we're brain damaged. But there is a certain spiritual damage, a certain spiritual emptiness when we're always on the go and never coming to the Good Shepherd for His life, His love. He wants to be our strength. This is too much. And the fact that we're here today at Mass is a response to Jesus' invitation to come. For he says, let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. So we have come to receive Jesus, to eat his body, to drink his blood, in a special way, our first communicants. And then when we're filled with His life and His love and His truth, then at the end of Mass we hear, Go, go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. This is Vocation Sunday. Let us pray for people to respond generously. And if we're in the midst of our calling to persevere in fidelity, may we be faithful to Jesus by always listening to his command to come and to go.